And ladies, the vice president has news for you. Obamacare means you don't have to work. But do women really just work for the health care? We've assembled a panel from both sides of the aisle. Well, good Saturday morning. Thanks for being with us. And ladies, listen up. The vice president feels your pain. How many of you are single women with children in a dead-end job? You're there because of your health insurance. Now you'll be able to do make an independent choice. Well, that's Vice President Joe Biden praising the health care law on The View, claiming to know exactly what women want. But is that really true? I'm joined now by a panel of lovely ladies, three women, former Miss America Kirsten Hagland, Sabrina Schaefer, executive director of the Independent Women's Forum, and Caitlin Huey Burns from Real Clear Policy. Good morning, ladies. Thanks morning. for being with us. Um, and uh, I'm going to start with uh, with you, Kirsten. Is this just uh, the war on women, <laughs> the, the phony war on women continued? Uh, I, of course, I think so. I mean, I think we're all tired as ladies, too, of being pandered to by politicians, especially in this way. And I thought it was so interesting, too, that they sent Joe Biden to go out and do damage control from the CBO report that reported not 2,000 people are losing their jobs. Two million people are losing their jobs. And the health care law is going to affect women negatively in the same way everyone else high deductibles, high premium, and it's not about freedom. It's about the government controlling one-fifth of the economy. So let's just make that clear. And Sabrina, what about women who do want to work? That's a big question. Look, you know, I'm a mom with three little children, and I have parents who live on the other side of the country. You know what I want? I want flexibility, and I am exactly like almost every other woman out there. And the big sort of loss or the missed opportunity with Obamacare is that we didn't separate our health insurance from our place of employment. We didn't give women ownership and control over their health care dollars, so if they want to work more, they can, or if they need to take time off to be with kids, they still own those health care dollars. So I think that's where, where, unfortunately, the vice president really you know, doesn't understand this. Um, Caitlin, though, there are some women out there who do fit into the category that Vice President Joe Biden was, was talking about, and this is going to be helping them. So you see where he's coming from? Well, I think the vice president is saying what Democrats have been arguing when trying to defend this law, and they are having some trouble doing that, is that it kind of reduces some job lock that is affecting women and men in the workplace, letting them, you know, not depend on their health, uh, on their employer for their health care benefits. I think the, the concerns that people have, however, are that, you know, if you're moving from getting your insurance from an employer to uh, this, this government uh, program, that's, you know, we're not sure how this is going to work out. Uh, there's some major uncertainty about the law, um, transferring over there is, is some concerns. Well, because of those major uncertainties about the law, a lot of small business owners are going, wait a minute, you know what, i, I got to make sure I don't hire any more than employees. How's that going to be affecting women? Oh, well, that will certainly affect women. And also, women are increasingly these small business owners as well. So they're facing the decision of, am I going to have to cut employees? What am I, you know, we're seeing now, am I going to have to charge a sur surcharge on customers? Right. Um, how am I going to deal with this? And, and, you know, you're exactly right. Women want flexibility. They want a choice of providers for themselves and their children. They don't want just a government-mandated plan of coverage that might not be best for them. They want choice and flexibility, most of all. Yeah, it's hard for us to be put into a box just because we we are females. Right. Uh, ladies, thank you so much. We've got to leave it there. Appreciate your time today and enjoy your weekend. Thank, thank you. you.